Welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And our regular look at what's to watch on UK Freeview TV. And we're going to go from Saturday the 26th of February. Yes, and we're into March uh, to Friday the 4th of March 2022. In the company, of course, of our regular publication, the, the Great Radio Time. Look what's on the front, guys. The fans of Peaky Blinders. I do like Peaky Blinders. I always have done. I wouldn't rave over it. I think it's a very good series. Uh, I say it's not something I sit on the edge of my seat waiting for the next one, but I think this is supposed to be the last one, isn't it? Anyway, but perhaps a little bit more on that in a minute. The final showdown might be the clue to that. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe on, push the bell notification. All these blogs are coming out. I try and do movie reviews as well, TV drama reviews, and of course, these information blogs on what's coming on TV and what's to buy and what's at the cinema, etc. etc. And if you do get a chance, and if you know anyone who might be interested, if you're not yourself, uh, I do have my little citizen channel as well, which looks at my football team, Manchester City, past, present and forever, of course. So if that's of any interest. Anyway, guys, give us a thumbs up. I'm trying to get at least 10, so please just give us that thumbs up and leave your comments. And if you can't leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. If you can leave both, absolutely wonderful. Right, let's get on with this. Let's get on. Interesting, there's a couple of days where there's very little on. Well, there's actually a day where there's nothing on that I've actually found and I've scoured through it and there's nothing really apart from repeats that, that was worth uh, noting. So anyway, we'll go with what we've got, won't we? Saturday the 26th of February, yes, on to Channel 5, nothing on the big channels. 6.15, Harry and Meghan versus a monarchy. So if you're not too fed up with these two by now, uh, look at the rift between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the royal family as both sides engage in a war of worlds. So we've not had too much of that when we're reading, reading the magazines or watching stuff on TV. That's Harry and Meghan. I say that was another quiet day, so I literally found that because it hadn't been on before and it's not a repeat, so you might be interested, you royal watchers, of course. On to Sunday, the 27th of February. Busy night on BBC One. 6.30, we've got Extraordinary Portraits, uh, one of six, musician and passionate art collector T Tiny challenges... I assume it's Tiny, T-I-N-I-E, is it... Uh, I've heard it's a pop star, is it? I'm not too sure. My apologies. I think it's tiny, isn't it? Uh, challenges celebrities, celebrated artists to create a portrait of everyday heroes. So if you like get extraordinary portraits, that sort of thing. Not, not my sort of thing. If you like that, that's on 6.30. 7 o'clock, Fantastic Beasts and Natural History. Yeah, with the assistance of scientists, historians, writers and filmmakers. Stephen Fry, who I do like. And Barks, that'll surprise you. Most of the time I say these people I don't like, don't I? Stephen Fry and Barks and Barks discover the stories behind mythological creatures. So that looks quite good. And nine o'clock, of course, it aforementioned already Peaky, Blind, Peaky Blinders Series 6. And this is one of six. And I do believe it could be the last one. Black Day, The Return of the Period Crime Drama starring Killian Murphy. Tommy sets off to North America where the end of the prohibition brings new opportunities. So sounds really good. Shame I'm going over to America though, but I, I can understand it. BBC Two Seven Twenty Stanley Tucci searching for Italy. Well, he knows where he find it. Get on a plane, you'll you'll find it. Uh, new series, one of six. Naples and the Amalfi Coast. I do like it. It's one of my favourite European countries. If I if I didn't live in the UK, which I'm not that bothered about living in the UK these days with our weather, but uh, yeah, it, Italy's the place I'd probably go. That and somewhere one of the Greek islands, perhaps. Uh, Academy Award nominated actor Stanley Tucci travels across Italy. To discover the secrets and delights of the country's regional cuisines. So obviously taking some food, plus a lot of lovely scenery, no doubt. On to Monday the 28th of February. So the last day, it's not a leap year, is it, guys? No, it's not a leap year, the last day of February. BBC Two, 6.30, Marcus Waring. I, I like Marcus Waring doing very well this week, aren't we? Marcus Waring, Tales from a Kitchen Garden. One of ten, this is. Michelin starred chef spends time expanding his small holding in East Sussex. First, he heads to North Yorkshire to check out some rare breed Mang Mangalitsa pigs before harvesting his apples and preserving some rhubarb. Yeah, I do like Marcus Ware. I must admit, it's one of my. Uh, I don't I don't like, uh, there's not a lot of chefs I do like, but yeah, Marcus Waring is one of them. On to Channel 4, and if you like your emergency stuff, police, fire brigade, ambulance, you name it, emergency is back one of four following the work of London's major trauma system, a network of hospitals, air ambulances and paramedics during the summer of 2021. So if you like your health things, you like your watching your edge, edge of the seat, casualty A&E sort of stuff, Channel 4, that's 9 o'clock emergency on the 28th of February. On to Tuesday, Tuesday the 
1st of March. We're into March. Uh, rock till we drop. Well, the weather improves. Uh, it's a bit sun's out today, actually. Then after after a storm, being hit by storms for the last seven to ten days, we got a bit of sun today. Perhaps it's a lull before the next storm. Who knows? Rock till we drop. Nine o'clock. BBC Two. One of four Spandau Ballet ba- bassist Martin Kemp and grime artist. What the hell's a grime artist? Is that just, it doesn't mean he's scruffy. Uh, Lady Lazure are on a mission to pro- to prove that age is no barrier to talent as they assemble rival bands made up of veteran musicians to perform at the Isle of Wight Festival. There we go. That's open mic sessions, etc. That, that sounds interesting. If that's your bag at nine o'clock, BBC Two. ITV, don't forget my my team. Yes, Manchester City, the, the greatest. God's team, God's own team. The fan, most fantastic team in the world. Yeah, they're on against Peterborough United. I can't get a ticket for that one. Uh, well, I might be actually today. They actually, I could get one today, but it depends if they sell out or not before they get to my points level. You have to have points to buy tickets for these games. And I'm not very high, so I miss out on a lot of these. But yes, yeah, 6.45 ITV, Tuesday 1st of March, build up to Peterborough United versus Manchester City in the fifth round of the FA Cup with a 7.15 kickoff. Don't miss that, guys. There you go. If you like football, the only team to watch, to be honest with you. Uh, Channel 5, 7 o'clock, new series, Dream Kitchens and Bathrooms with Mark Miller. So if you like this sort of uh, do-it-yourself, do-it-yourself interior design sort of stuff, this is Series 2, 1 of 5. The DIY expert helps to create an open plan family kitchen in Rotherham there you go for 25 grand what do you do with 25 grand I probably won't spend it on a kitchen uh, new series at nine o'clock the holiday well these are all new mostly new series I don't know why I keep saying it one of four and this is a drama yes yeah, so I'm looking forward to this we didn't have any last week apart from the ones that were continuing so this is a new one Four families gather at a dream villa where a dark secret emerges. There you go. So it carries on each night and hopefully, hopefully I can binge watch it, but I'm not too sure. That's the holiday nine o'clock channel five. BBC three, ten oh five. Yeah, a new series, The Mood. One of six, a drama starring Nicole Leckett, Lara Peak, and Jessica Hines. Sasha gets kicked out of her home and has to find her own way whole series will be on iPlayer. Yeah, a bit of a binge watch with that one. So new series, Mood. Yeah, so that's two new series on Tuesday. Uh, being, being, being very, uh, what's, the, what's the word? It's spoilt, very spoilt. On to Wednesday, the 2nd of March, BBC Two, 8 o'clock, 1 of 6, Your Body Uncovered with Kate Garraway, the lovely Kate Garraway. Millions of people in the UK have long-term medical conditions which for many remain hidden within their bodies. Using augmented reality technology, the news broadcaster and Dr Goody Singh guide patients through an immersive journey inside their own bodies to help better understand their illness. Okay, well, if that's your sort of thing, <laughs> there you go, BBC Two, 8 o'clock, well, Kate Garraway. Because anything with Kate Garraway is worth a watch, isn't it? Channel 4, 10 o'clock. Yes, yeah, so and this probably isn't worth a watch for me. I don't watch this. I've, I've seen snippets of it. Of course, yeah, I wouldn't be, wouldn't be human if I didn't have a quick look to see what was going on. Uh, and uh, Of course, episode one of series nine, Naked Attraction. Do I need to say more? Probably not. Uh, Anna Richardson returns, of course. The lovely Anna Richardson. It's probably worth, worth watching just for Anna Richardson, to be honest with you, but no, I I can't face that. I can't face that, guys. But if that's your sort of thing, that's back. So a new series of that one. Wednesday, the 2nd of March, still. Channel 5, 7 o'clock. The Gadget Show's back. Yeah, you should like watching this. I got a bit, I've got a bit bored with it now, to be honest with you. I think we're up to series 567, aren't we? Or something like that. Otis and Georgie go head-to-head with a pair of 55-inch TVs to see if you can save a packet by an off-brand without compromising on quality. Yeah, so there's some good stuff in it. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's one of those things you, you wish you watched perhaps in a couple of years' time when you're buying a new telly and you forgot what they've done. Uh, 8 o'clock. 10 years younger in 10 days, yes. Yeah, so I've, I've dipped into this as well in the past, but again, not something I watch. But if you like that programme, Cherry Healy and the team use cutting-edge tricks and non-surgical treatments to shave a decade off a prison officer and a mother of six. Well, good luck with that one. As Wednesday the 2nd of March. And as I said, Thursday 3rd of March, and nothing for Friday, guys, so you're going to have to get your, get on your streaming sites for Friday. But Thursday the 3rd of March, just one thing I've, I've isolated. Interesting, Ian McKellen, I like a bit of Ian McKellen. It's Amal Rajan interviews Ian McKellen. The BBC's media editor chats to the acclaimed actor about growing up in Lancashire during the Second World War, launching his acting career at Cambridge alongside Derek Jacobi, and in 1988, finally choosing to reveal the truth the publicly about his sexuality. So there you go, Ian McKellen and Amar Rajam 
BBC Two, nine o'clock on Thursday to finish the week. I'm so sorry, I couldn't couldn't cover anything worthwhile for the Friday, but that's how it is. We'll, we'll take it on the chin. And as far as must watch this week, I think it's got to be the two dramas, hasn't it? Channel Five, uh, nine o'clock, the holiday, which looks okay. It could be. I mean, based on the actual blurb I've read, it could be similar to what we've seen before, but it's very hard not to be, isn't it? But you never know, it might be a different slant on it. And this BBC 3, 10.05, something called Mood, yeah, which is not as well publicised, but it's took my eye, so we'll see. It's got a, a yeah, wannabe singer and rapper Sasha, played, played by Nicole Leckie. Oh, there's not too much rapping in it, it'll be all right. Anyway, let me know what you're looking forward to, guys, or what you plan on watching this week, or what you've enjoyed watching over the last few weeks. Let me, some of these dramas are coming to coming to a conclusion now. We'll have that trigger point. Is it trigger point or trigger effect? I always forget the title. There'll be a review on that very, very soon as that comes to a conclusion, of course. So please... Uh, Join me for that and uh, let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're watching. Let me know what you're looking forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. To be here again on the Film and TV channel. I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>